Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. It's a filming day over here. I'm throwing my Q-tip away, but good morning. I'm getting ready to do some filming. I actually have three main channel videos to film today. That's usually more than I am used to, but I'm trying to get ahead, so let's do it. So here is what is on the list. I need to bring these two tops because I'm doing one, two, and then three videos. So I have my three tops, so I'm gonna bring those in. Bring this just in case, my phone, definitely my water. I like to talk. I've already got a little bit of it set up, so like I have my bag here, I have this one, and then I have this one. So we'll just set up our stuff, try to avoid Moo's hair, because this is his new favorite spot, so it is quite hairy. I'm gonna turn on my lights. There we go, get some light going in here, some natural light. Definitely make sure the fan is on, because woof. Hung those up. I also always bring my like under shorts, in case I ever wear like dresses or anything where I need some chafing protection underneath. Put some lip gloss on downstairs, grabbed a memory card, because I forgot about that, so we gotta put the memory card in. And we are ready to go. All right, see you on the other side. You can't film with me. You're too all over the place. Yeah. Bye. I had just gone into the other room to get my, this is like ADHD in action. I had gone into the other room to get my desk chair to like wheel in here because sometimes I like to sit in a chair, sometimes I sit on the floor. I just like to change it up. And I immediately sat down in the chair and started answering emails. And then I realized that my camera was on in here, recording in the other room, waiting for me. So, okay, <laughs> catch you later. I was gonna say it's a little while later, but it's literally like three o'clock. Like, I don't know where this day went, but here's a sneak peek of a main channel video that's going up very soon. Actually, I wanna say by the time this video goes up, it'll already be up, but I'm reviewing as you can see. And I literally just finished filming that video and I love this so much that I don't wanna take it off. And I'm hungry, but it's three o'clock and we're leaving at four to go to my mom's, but I'm like starving. So I'm like, what do I do? Because we're probably gonna eat dinner at like 5, 5.30, so I don't, I don't really know what to do. So I think I'm just gonna make a bowl of cereal. Also, I'm talking kind of quietly because Drew is upstairs in a meeting right now and he has a headset on, but I don't know, I just like to be respectful. I would be very curious to know what everyone's favorite cereal is because literally one of my favorites for my whole life is Special K with strawberries. Is that weird? I don't know. Is that like a weird cereal? Is that like a, one of those things where you're like, oh, you're a cereal killer if you like that or whatever. I don't know, but either way, it's delicious. I've loved it for as long as I can remember. I also like the one with chocolate. Oh, that reminds me. Well, I have to eat my cereal, but after my cereal, I think I'm gonna make a passion tea um, lemonade from Starbucks. Hold on. Mm. I waited entirely too long to eat today. All my hypoglycemic girlies, where you at? Because it was touch and go there for a second. <laughs> but basically, over the weekend, um, I went to Target with Drew's mom. While we were there, like Drew was off looking at some other stuff and she, we went to Starbucks and I ordered a passion tea lemonade and she was like, oh, they sell it here. And I was like, what? And she was like, at Target, they sell like the, the tea. So she bought me this, she bought me this passion tea. And then I also bought some lemonade to put in it. And now I can make passion tea lemonade at home. And it's totally caffeine free. And it's like, I don't know, I've gotten it since like high school. It's like a go-to good caffeine free drink that isn't coffee. Like if you're not in the mood for a coffee, I might have to make one of these and test it out. I'm gonna try to film one more video. I don't know if I have time. Cereal is so slept on. I'm a cereal girly till I die. Like if there's one thing I'm gonna do, it's eat cereal for like every meal. Fun fact, but when I was younger, like probably, Four, I don't know, four to like six. I went through a heavy cereal phase, like it's all I wanted to eat. My favorites were like Raisin Bran. I loved Golden Grahams, Lucky Charms, obviously. I loved like the Quaker Oats squares, those like oatmeal squares. Oh, those slapped. Do they still make those? And my mom brought me to the airport. The airport. <laughs> I'm tired. My mom brought me to the doctor when I was little because she was like, all she wants to eat is cereal. Like I literally can't get her to eat anything else. And the doctor was like, well, if she wants to eat cereal, just let her eat cereal, she'll grow out of it. And I did, but I've been a cereal girly <laughs> from day one. Sensational. Am I what? Are you making me a drink? No, I'm making me a drink. 
can I have some? Yeah, you can have some. You want to try it? Yeah, I want to try it. Welcome to Carrie Starbucks Corner. Is it pulp? You light. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to get light. I don't want any. <laughs> <laughs> Drew is clearly taking a break from his call, but I'm going to try this at home Starbucks situation. I was scarfing down my you cereal. Like and now I feel ill, so. I'm going to use the cool ice. We got these like. Actually, there's like dog hair in it, but it's fine. Cute. It's just part of our life. So I'm gonna use these like really big cubes because something about um, like those half moon shape ice cubes just really kill the vibe of a drink. I need more ice. I, there's never enough ice in a drink for me. I'm so American to my core, it hurts. I've heard that like, well, I've experienced in a couple other countries that like they really just don't, ice in your drinks isn't really a thing. And so when I went to the UK, I was craving a glass of ice water so desperately. And that was what Alexa and I were talking about before we went home, was that we were excited to like go home to our hydro flasks and just have like icy cold water. Like Jasmine, our friend that we stayed with, kept her um, Brita filter on the counter. Like her water, her she water pitcher. No, she had a fridge, she just kept it on the counter because this is not a thing, whereas like, we're all, Americans are obsessed with like cold drinks. Although there are, I think there are some like people in the US who don't care about like their drink being that cold, but I'm definitely. I mean, I don't typically put ice in my water, but yeah, I'm my definitely, water is also coming from the fridge. Like you even make fun of me because when I'm taking a sip of my coffee, I'll like pull the straw up to the top so that it's like the coldest sip. I don't know how much lemonade to tea ratio, but I don't know. isn't it so pretty? It's a pretty color, so I'm gonna do like 75-25. Okay, now for the taste test. There is pulp in this, which I don't think there usually is at Starbucks. It's it's way sweeter. Wait, what? It's sweetened. I get mine unsweetened. Like I put, there's lemonade in it, so it's sweetened, but like the tea is unsweetened, but this tea is sweetened, so it's weird. I would get it, I would probably just like squeeze a lemon in this then. I wouldn't do, I wouldn't do um, lemonade because it's too sweet, says the girl from the south. But sweet tea is different than like fruit iced tea, it just is. Let's get um, a cynic's opinion of it. I don't like the tea. <laughs> there you have it. She fucking sucks. <laughs> I actually really like it. I think it's really good. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Somebody needs a nap before we go to dinner tonight. <laughs> I really like it. I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna take it upstairs, film my last video, and then we're getting this show on the road. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Should we show everybody your progress? Oh, hold on. So there we have it. She's healing, but all of her bottom TVs are gone, and it makes me so sad. But she's doing so good. But all the teepers are gone. But she's back to normal, which is good. So what we're gonna do is ignore this mess, okay? It's fine, we didn't see anything. Just wrapped up filming in the nick of time and I changed into another outfit because Drew and I are actually gonna stop and take some photos. He needs some headshots for work and I need to take a photo for a brand. So that is what I am doing. Layla has been fed, she's ready to go. And we're heading out and I got my boots on. We've just pulled up to a random bush in my mom's neighborhood, AKA our old neighborhood, to take some photos. And um, hopefully no one like stops and stares. We're definitely just like okay. pulled over to the side. Yeah, people are gonna be like, what the hell, but it's fine. We just finished our spaghetti dinner and we decided we're gonna take a walk. So I put on a pair of my mom's leggings and her mom walker 9000s. We're gonna take a nice little stroll in 89 degree weather. Finished our walk, it was lovely, and now I'm getting ready to leave, and um, my mom's laughing at me because of my outfit. My outfit. <laughs> I think I look good. <laughs>
<laughs> I bet you tucked him in too. Totally wrong. Take the girl out of Tennessee. You can't take right. Tennessee out of the girl. <laughs> Who remembers what you used to look like when you'd leave your best friend's house in yeah. the morning after a sleepover? <laughs> that's that's the vibe I'm giving right now. Yes, I will eventually organize this drawer, but that will not be today. Hello, it is the next day, and I stayed in my pajamas all day. It was kind of great. You know when the Jonas Brothers shirt comes out, it's gonna be a good day. But I just finished a bunch. I've been on my computer all day. My eyeballs hurt so bad, and Drew and I want to get some movement in, so I think we might try to do a workout t together. Well, like tandem, I guess. And I remembered that I just bought this freaking cutie set. It's from Aerie, and it's like this shorts and long line sports bra set, and it's kind of giving me like Dorothy vibes, but in the best way. So here it is. This is the bra. What is it actually called? Does it say? It's by the Offline brand, and it just says it's in a stretch material, but seriously, how cute is this? I'm a little worried about the chafe factor with these shorts, but I got both of these in an extra large, so we're gonna try them out on our workout today. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I will never figure out the lighting in here, but I'm feeling kind of like playful with my workouts today, so I don't know if I wanna do like a dance workout or maybe like a Peloton moment, a little Cody Rigsby to get me in the mood. Who also has been telling me that like, and actually a lot of you have been telling me that I should try out weightlifting. That's Drew's favorite thing. And like we have a couple of weights, so like maybe I'll try a little bit of strength training today. I don't know, but let's put this on, see what it looks like. Um. Yeah, this is maybe the cutest workout set I own now. I am like definitely gonna chafe. Um, so I, I like wish that the shorts were a little bit longer. Hold on, let me show you. Okay, this is so cute. Oh my God. This is freaking adorable, but I'm like really worried about the thighs, but like how freaking, pre I like if I could design the perfect workout set, this would be it. Oh my god, I'm in love. This is so cute. It's definitely not, you know, like girlfriend collective level compression, but I'm gonna test it out today during my workout and we'll see. I need to put some shoes on. Definitely need to put some of this on and let's work out. But uh, I'll link all these down below, both of these pieces. Cause wow, I might need to order this in like some more colors and maybe see if they have leggings in this material. Yeah, I work it. Don't do that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Please do not judge me for my unmade bed. Um, I'm just not a bed maker as an adult. I've learned. <laughs> I've just tried to pretend that I am. I'm just not. Most of the time, we do not make our bed unless like someone's coming over and we think they're gonna like see. I've also heard too like people who don't make their beds uh -huh. typically have less. I don't not bed bugs, but less critters that live in their beds. Why? Because the exposure to like air and sunlight mm -hmm. kills them. Opposed to like so if genius. You were like making your bed every day, everything's kinda of like trapped. <laughs> Science. Science. So I'm <laughs> feeling like some kind of dance moment. I typically either do, I've like been trying to like not say too much what workouts I've been doing if they're new because I want to like cover them for main channel videos, but I have talked about her on this channel before. I've done Grow With Joe and then EMK Fit or MK Fit. I might do like one of their new videos. One of them is a Doja Cat dance workout. Should we go for it? Let's do it. P.S. Before I get started, something I've been trying to do lately before I begin a workout, if you hear huffing and puffing and like weights dropping, that's just Drew in the other room, but something I've been trying to do before doing a workout lately is just kind of like get in the right mindset and kind of like do a little bit of a gratitude list, like be thankful that I'm able to move my body, kind of really go into it with like an intention. So my intention today is like to have some fun, break a sweat. And I don't know, it just really helps me a lot and like totally changes my mood when I'm entering my workout and I think I've like talked about this in the past where if you view it as like a chore or something that you have to do that day it's like really kind of takes a, it sucks a lot of the joy out of it honestly so just kind of being like okay I want to feel really strong and feel silly and playful and like have a good time and dance around then that's like what's gonna most of the time what you're gonna get out of it so okay let's do it I felt 
it's all good. That was really fun, but I'm very sweaty and I need some water. This is so easy. Is it? Yeah, can you tell by my face? Yeah! Yeah! Who's over here? Are you in squats together? Yeah. Okay, so, student. Here's the, so here's um, what we're gonna do today in class. I've been doing fitness for a very long time. That's not me holding. Ben and snap. <laughs> Eight. Seven. Three. Can you do it? Yeah. Two. One. <laughs> the realities of working out with a cat. <laughs> Is that every every time Drew lays down, he's like, oh, cuddle time? Okay. Come hang out with me. Here you go. There's the buddy. Oh, I just laid back in this chair and I literally thought I was going to fall back, but I'm chilling. I'm in Drew's office right now and he's finishing up his workout. So I'm actually going to finish up some work even though it's like almost five o'clock. I'm... in my ear when you touched me. Yeah, that chair is really static, so just be careful. Oh my god. You're good, you already got shocked. You're yeah. grounded now. Grounded, okay. I'm scared. Uh, <laughs> you thought I was just talking to you at like a calm level? Yeah. From the other Well, room. I had my headphones in so I could like just faintly hear, hear it, so I thought you were like talking louder <laughs> than normal. Nothing I'm saying is worth listening to anyways. <laughs> All I was gonna say is that I'm doing some extra work, but this chair is comfortable. I need to get one for myself. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to edit. And there he goes. In his favorite spot. Are you gonna take a nap? I think he's bird hunting. How freaking cute is this? We got these, me and my mom um, got these like cat beds at IKEA, and we got one for Moo and one for her cat and her cat wanted nothing to do with it so we ended up just like putting them both up here and now he sprawls across both of them and it's so cute he sleeps most of the day all up day. here <laughs> all day long what do you hear in the window mm. Mm. <laughs> moo is a snorer for sure so also he sleeps on his bed and sometimes he'll sleep <laughs> like that where he's like crushing his windpipe so just like so this is there mm. Didn't you say you were on a call the other day and you were like, can you hear my cat? And they were like, no. <laughs> it's quite loud. All right, let's go make dinner. If you want a good playlist to cook to, to go on, I don't know, sorry about this knife, to go on hot girl walks to, <laughs> listen to my hot girl walks playlist. It's actually Drew, it's on Drew's Spotify account. So I'm gonna link down below. Air five. This makes you wanna listen to Baby Laughing Since I Can't Remember. Two of the week like before. No more jam, no more jam, no more jam. Gotta move to the mall, gonna live in the pool. Gonna talk to Roxanne and not be like a fool. Now 40 more minutes. <laughs> Down with the textbook, not with the comics, happy boys. Is this the way to Nashville? I like you, Did you hear my face? <laughs> oh no. This was my MySpace song, I won't lie. <laughs> Here is our dinner for tonight. We've got some lemon, garlic, butter, spicy tilapia. Chicken. <laughs> yeah. We have um, some broccoli, some steamed broccoli, and some sweet and golden potatoes. We were just gonna have sweet potatoes, but half of them were rotten, so we supplemented. And here is our dinner. It looks freaking delish. I want to say I've talked about this on my vlog channel before, but we have, for the last probably like what year, maybe two years, been obsessed with the show called Grand Designs on Amazon Prime. I, we might have even talked about it in like the British 
show video that we did like in vlogmas but it's essentially a show about people in the uk like building homes and they have like usually really small budgets but they're trying to build this like really insane house and or they don't know what they're doing or they don't know what they're doing and they like quit their job to like be a building site manager and it's very entertaining and we love the host so we're gonna go watch that because we found out we have one extra episode so we're very excited because we've watched literally the whole thing turned into a building in 2011 well <laughs> okay this is the look that we're going for but um i just wanted to end off the vlog and say thank you so much for being here i really really appreciate you i'm going to cuddle with layla here on the floor for a minute and then i'm gonna hop in the shower get nice and fresh and clean and then crawl into bed and maybe like watch some YouTube videos or something. But yeah, I just appreciate you all so very much. I'm sending you so, so much love and I will see you very soon in the next vlog. Thanks for being here. Bye.